A city councilman wants to outlaw cashless businesses here in Atlanta. They became first more popular in the last decade with the rise of debit cards and too many cash robberies as well as post pandemic. 11 Alive's Doug Richards has more. This measure represents a backlash against a cashless trend that has really gained a lot of traction over the last decade. When Pont City Market opened nine years ago, it successfully sought out a younger clientele which came of age carrying less cash and more debit cards. Inside the historic monolith, several restaurants advise their customers they are cashless. And Atlanta City Councilman Antonio Lewis says that's not right. It says on our cash that cash is the legal tender, the legal tender for payment in this, in this country. I think that you should be forced to accept cash. Lewis sponsored a city council resolution calling on Georgia lawmakers to pass a bill outlawing cashless business in Atlanta. Some Atlanta restaurants went cashless after a spate of strong armed robberies, victimized staff and customers. Size wise, the city's largest cashless venue may be Mercedes Benz Stadium, whose vendors embraced it in 2019. You know, in the restaurant business, most of our business today. Is, is credit cards anyway. It's simple, it's easy, it's precise. Who pays with cash anymore? But Lewis says his bill would protect young and lower income consumers, who he says tend to rely on cash. We can force businesses to always accept cash. We want cash to be an option. Lewis says he expects bipartisan support in the Georgia legislature to pass his anti-cashless measure. Yet pro-business lawmakers in and out of Atlanta may think twice before giving his measure a lot of support. In the old fourth ward, Doug Richards, 11 Alive News.